Hey guys, it's Dean from Got Game. Today we're going to work on four new exercises for you to do at home, in your backyard, or in your garage. Now we're going to be focusing on our dribbling and our ball control. The four exercises we're going to be working on today are our L drag, V drag, scissors, and step over. Now these four exercises are perfect for controlling the ball, dribbling past defenders, keeping the ball nice and close to your body to give you a better decision with your passing and your shooting, and also give you a lot of confidence on the ball. I've also got a few little challenges for you to do at the end to see if you can beat me, and also beat yourself every single day. Good luck, let's get started. So the first exercise we're gonna to practice today is our bell drag. You're gonna start with your foot on the ball, the sole of your foot on the ball, and you're gonna bring it towards you and push to the side. You're going to trap with your other foot. You're going to bring the ball towards your body. And you're going to move it to the side, just like the L shape. Trap with the other foot. Bring it towards your body. Push to the side. Trap with the other foot. Bring it towards your body. Push to the side. Trap with your foot. As you can see, we're making the letter L. Bring it to the side. Push. Push towards your body. Push to the side. Little touches. Nice and controlled. As you get more comfortable, you want to increase the speed. See, it's nice little touches. I'm moving my hips to allow me to make the L shape. Nice little touches. And that's our bell drag. The next exercise we're going to be practicing today is our V drag. Now, if the ball is on the right side of the cone, you're going to use your left foot. Trapping it with the sole of your foot, you're going to bring it towards you and push to the side. Trap with your right foot. Push to the side. Trap with your left foot, bring it towards your body, push to the side. Trap with your right foot, bring it close towards your body, push to the side. As you can see, we're making a V shape. Now your cone, you don't want to hit it, it's there for a reference point. So bring the ball towards you, push to the side. Bring the ball towards you, push to the side. As you get more comfortable, you want to get a little bit faster, pushing it to the side, nice little touches, nice and controlled. Nice little bounce, so you're almost on a jog. Bring towards you, push this up. And that's our V drag. For the third exercise that we have today, we're going to be practicing our step over. So we don't only need the marker, just going to need your ball. What are you going to do? When you're starting on the right side of the ball, you're going to use your left foot. You're going to step over and out. As you do that, you're going to move. To the left side of the ball, you're going to use your right foot. Step over and out. Left foot, step over and out. Step over and out. As you get faster, you want to do a little skip in between with your feet. Step over and out. Step over and out. Step over and out. As you get more comfortable, you want to go a little bit faster. Nice little skips in between. Step over and out. Step over and out. Step over and out. Step over and out. As you get really fast, can you try to do it with one little skip? If you're not trying to touch the ball, stepping over. And that is our step over. That's a great little exercise in a soccer game if you want to give yourself a little bit more space, more time. And if you're doing this in a game, the defender might go that way, which gives you more space to go the other way. That's our step overs. Our final exercise for today is called our scissor. Now you're going to start on the left side of the ball and you're going to step over with your left foot and your body is going to lean towards that direction so left foot just step over the ball then i'm going to move back in now my right foot is going to go over the ball this way and my body is going to tilt this direction step over okay not touching the ball step over step over step over as you get more comfortable you want to increase the speed stepping over the ball This is a great exercise if you're playing in a soccer match and you want to give yourself more space, more time. If I do this, the defender might go this way, which means that I can take the ball in that direction. As you get more comfortable as well, I want you to try to increase the speed in this exercise. So we're going to go over, over, not touching the ball. And that's how we do our scissors. 
challenges. The first challenge we're going to do is our L drag. You're going to see how many you can do in 10 seconds. I'm going to try it right now, see if you can beat my score. Ready, set. Stop. I got 15 in 10 seconds. Can you beat my score? The next challenge we're going to do is our V drag. I'm going to see how many I can do in 10 seconds and we'll see if you can beat my score. Ready, set, go. Stop. I got 18 in 10 seconds. Can you beat my score? So the challenges that I have set out for you today is one, can you beat my score over 10 seconds? I also want to set a challenge for you to try to beat your scores every single day over 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds and one minute. Challenge yourself each day to improve those scores. I've also created a little sheet that you can print off or type up on the computer where you can write down your scores daily. Okay. Now if you fill that sheet out and you see me in the schools, I'd love for you to bring it to me to see so I can see your scores and see you improving every single day. Keep working hard, keep being positive, always learning, always improving your skills and good luck. And let's see if anyone can beat my scores. Who's got game? We got game.